Well, hello everybody. I just got back from the woods and I, I shed some tears for um, some trees that had their limbs taken off and a whole section of wild that um, was discarded with unnecessarily and in my opinion, prematurely. But just like children of narcissistic parents or abuse of any kind, we really do have to go, well, what's done is done. What's done is done. And that's hence uh, the spiritual kintsugi that I'm developing, which is essentially piecing yourself back together with gold. These are some paintings that I did. <clears throat> Let's see here. There's this one. That's Jupiter. Uh, this is a new earth coming. Um, this one is holding um, consciousness in the purity of itself and away from anything devilish. Uh, this is knowing that earth is divinely guided, spiritually minded, and that we fight the demons and we do climb Jacob's ladder and we do go towards our own um, portal. You can see this figure is all abstract. I haven't finished this one yet, so it's not quite done. I haven't signed any of them, but I will be. And um, that's work I did in 2017 though, so that's the thing. And I needed around me because I titled them at the time, Portals of Infinity to My Own Divinity. And as you can see now, I'm seeing how fighting the demons was what I needed to do. It all starts here as a figure. You're fighting the demons. Oops. And here there is a way up and then there's a way to your next level. And that's essentially, we're in the Agon. We're in the game. And it feels really shitty to have had traumatic childhoods. But in some ways, you're, you're, you have an advantage to other people. So really count your blessings. You don't have to fetch your water unless you live in a third world country. Uh, they don't pol uh, pollute the well, what they used to, to wipe out villages. They, meaning any oppressor. Um, but the water has things in it. And if you're curious about it, message me at ityogaguide at gmail.com. Inner Transformation. I'm an inner transformation guide. I'm developing a system in real time that helps you aim for what is true for you. And it starts with uh, kinds of things like an inventory list of yourself and your truth. Uh, and recognizing that everybody has hardships because we're in this society, we're in this world, we're in this place where they, they define us. And so now you get to be the parent for yourself. So I'm learning to teach that. So we're, we're gonna be discussing communication a narcissist does not have a communication. They don't have a conversation. They communicate to you what they want you to do, what they think about you, but they do not have a conversation. And learning to have a conversation is a give and take, an exchange of ideas. It's a ability to express yourself candidly, openly, and then it's the other person's ability to then understand it or 
translate it or take it in or listen, you know, acknowledge. There is no acknowledgement in a narcissistic relationship. You're never acknowledged. There's no affection of reality. They may fuck you if they're male, but they don't have an affection for you. You're not affirmed and you certainly don't get any attention. <laughs> Except negative. They want you to be like a toy on the shelf. They put you away until they're, they're, they have use for you. Be it in the bed or as they are a compliant child to show the rest of the world what a good parent they are. So I, as a result of my hardships, I've become a writer and an artist. I feel deeply, uh, but it's always been my nature too. And I have, let's see if I have it readily accessible. I don't want to give too much away. I'll, I'll present that next time. It's uh, writings that I did when I was young and it's called Something Wonderful. So something wonderful is you. Something wonderful is your life. Something wonderful is the fact that you're listening to this, that you can relate to me, that your DNA gets it. I'm a writer. I, like, I write letters to my friends. I write letters to my family. I think it's time for me to write more. And I got a really nice letter from my friend and she said this, take some time for you. So I take time for me whenever I can and whenever I need to, because I have my very own permission slip. I have my hall pass. Like when you were a kid, it's my permission slip. It's my permission slip to be good at what I do. It's my permission slip to know I'm a fast runner. It's my permission slip to know I'm a really good person. And it doesn't matter if anybody else wants to be nice to me or agrees or whatever, wants to play, because we are in a game. <laughs> uh, it's either playtime or it isn't. The key to having a good time here is you give yourself permission to be yourself. And for me, though, I had to first recognize that I wasn't myself, nor did I even know who I was because of the narcissistic abuse, also narc relationships. And that's why flying solo is so important. S-O-L-O. -O. It's a scenic overlook of your entire life. Take an overview. Take a loving overview. A loving and assess in the AIM system, assess everything. It brings tears to my eyes. It's so magnificent. <laughs> it is truly magnificent and cheers to that. Cheers to that. I, too, I was called too sensitive. Were you called too sensitive too? We're not too sensitive. We're sensitive enough. We're perfectly sensitive. We feel deeply. We feel so deeply. And fortunately for me, I, I, I know how to put up uh, a boundary. I know how to have that. So if you feel into everybody's stuff, stop. Just give yourself permission. Give yourself a permission slip. Make yourself your own hall pass, everybody. Make yourself the permission that you have. Remember when you were a kid? Get out of the classroom. <laughs> or they tell you what to think. And go down the corridor to the restroom. Huh? <laughs> oh, boy. So yes, I've also poured myself a beer and oh, my bookshelf, this, this is like 
I'm not going to make excuses for myself. I'm showing you that a writer isn't neat and tidy. And you are will and, and you have been seeing my progress and my, and my process. So count yourself lucky. And I count myself lucky that you're in my audience. I was born lucky. I was born happy to be me and aware of some things. So think back about yourself, what you were aware of and what you knew was magical about you and what you can still have now and what you still do have now as part of your magnificent being, as part of your ma magnificent magnificent self that's integral to who you are. So I'm going to leave off there um, to develop these ideas that I have. And it's to continue into what we've been talking about. It's first of all, the discovery of the trauma be it narcissistic abuse or what have you in your childhood. It's the discovery. The mourning and the grief doesn't go away and it comes in waves. The warning is to not go into it too deeply, but to find a way to alleviate getting into nature, volunteering, counting your blessings, making art, Making yourself a permission slip to be yourself. What does this say? You see that? <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm getting it just right. But um, and I can't see it now because uh, essentially it's saying you were brutally criticized for making mistakes, weren't you? Of any kind. Don't do it to yourself now. And when you find yourself doing that, brutalizing yourself for, oops, I slipped, I was human. Give yourself another pass. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're human. Oops. Let's just start with that. That way the conversation that you're going to start is the one that you're going to start with yourself. You're going to use the principles of conversation that you would use meeting a new person who you wanted to be like, hey, let's go have fun. And you aren't automatically taking in, into your mind and criticizing that person. No, you're looking for a way to play. At least I am. And I think you are too, if you're a listener of mine. You want to have a good time. You want to play. You want this other person to be a playmate in life. And I'm not talking about a Hugh Hefner one. So the playmate I'm becoming is the playmate I will attract when I'm good and ready for one, which isn't now. And so... When I meet people, it's playtime. And that's how you're going to begin with yourself. Meet yourself like it's playtime. Meet your true self. Unearth. Find out who she is. Whatever gender. Find out all about her. And have some fun and have a conversation. You listen, learn to listen to yourself. You weren't listened to, were you? I wasn't. Listen to yourself. That's where I'm going to end for now. Much love to you.